Welcome to Unearthed, Session 2. I'm Preston with Spratronics Learning Lab, and today we're going to be doing Session 2 of the first LEGO League Unearthed Season. What this means is that in today's lesson, you're going to build a driving base robot that can drive around the game board. We're going to do the challenge home to home, and this is a training mission that we think will help you get good practice with driving the robot base. And first, we're going to start by talking about one of our core values, which is discovery. What I want you to do with your team, read over the core value discovery in your engineering notebook, and then create a poster that tells all about what discovery is. What are some things that come to mind when you think of discovery? Create your poster and then share it with the rest of your team. After you've created your poster and shared it with your team, it's time to dive into robotics. What we're going to do today is open up the spike.legoeducation.com website. We're gonna click on Spike Prime, which is the robot we're using today. We're gonna to click on Units and go down to Competition Ready. And we're going to do Lesson 1 in Competition Ready, which is building a driving base and moving it around. I make some changes for this for our first LEGO League team based on how much time we have. For today's challenge, we're going to build a driving base robot and make it drive from one home area to the other home area. If you're able to accomplish that, you should get a certificate, something that says home to home or some sort of recognition that you've built a driving robot and were able to get from one location to another on the game board. When we're building Driving Base 1, I typically stop about step 25. We don't put the large motor in on our first session. We'll save that for session 3 when we build an attachment and give our robot the ability to go around and grab things. Another thing that I skip while building Robot Driving Base 1, I don't put any of the wire clips on. These wire clips tend to damage our wires and we found that we oftentimes have to reach out to LEGO to get replacement motors because these wires have been stretched out or rubbed to a point where the wire is exposed using the wire clips. So I skip the wire clip sets. Once you've built the driving base and done the challenge of going from one home area to the other home area, talk with your team or with your coach. What are some ways that your robot is going to have to move around the board? Something to be very careful with when you're building this robot and coding it, we're using two motors for driving, so that means we should be using the pink movement blocks. If your robot doesn't drive right away, you might want to check and make sure that you set movement motors and told your program which two motors are being used to drive this robot. Missing that step is typically one of the very first mistakes that a new team makes and is unable to make their robot drive. Another thing to keep in mind, always start your robot in the same location when you're coming up with some code. If you keep moving your robot to different start areas, that code's gonna perform something different each time. The code will be the same, but because the starting position is different, your robot is gonna look like it's doing different actions each time. Final thing we should do, let's take a look at those project sparks that we looked at last week. Try to start talking about, do any of these sound like a neat project to do? And one final thing, if you want to continue the learning from this week, we encourage you to try to build a Layers of the Earth model with your own Legos at home, because archaeologists are finding things in the Earth. The lower in the layer that something is found, typically that means the older it is, because the Layers of the Earth are developed by new mud, new rocks, new sand piling on top of old sand to create a new layer. If you need some extra activities for your students to do for a classroom setting, we 3D printed these layers of the earth. It's five different layers that get older and older with different animal or fossil representations inside each layer. They pop out so you could do a sorting or a matching activity with these. Our students had a great time exploring the different layers. And if you're doing first LEGO League Explore, in session two, one of the things you build is this layers of the earth dig site. 
And so as you look through, you can see the different layers of the earth where you have topsoil on the top, going down into some rock. And there are some secret compartments that you use this special tool to remove the secret compartments. Our students have had a great time exploring what's inside each of these as they have built the explore pieces along with the challenge kit.